Hey everybody, it's Brian from PMB Homesteading, and it's time for the update for the large grow tent. Got my safety goggles here, and I'm gonna put those on. I'll take you over there and show you what's been growing and some of the changes that I've made. So, all of the beta salad mix is gone from the indoor tent, and I took all the basil from the mid-sized tent and pulled it out of the, uh, the trays that it was in, put it into a, one of the deep trays, and you can see some of it kind of flopped over. And then in the front here, I put some of the large leaf Italian I'm seeding. So we'll see how all this pops back up in the next week. And we should have some pretty good babes. Like I watered right before I turned the cameras on in the large tent. So everything kind of flopped over. So you know, it looks like it's all just like mowed down by a strong wind. But uh, it should pop back up this week. If not, I'll just chop it up and uh, we'll dehydrate it in our dehydrator. And Paula will have some more basil for her uh, cooking purposes. This here, I've reseeded this tray with the Bates Kale because Paul and I really love this Bates Kale over here. We've come down and we've had many salads off of this and uh, we're looking forward to having another tray of this available so that way we'll have all of our salads coming from this kale. These other kales, they seem to do okay, like the White Russian in the back and the Red Russian. I like the Red Russian and I think I'll grow it again, but this white one, it is really finicky. And like, if it doesn't get the right amount of water in a certain area, it just starts getting brown. Like you can see there's some brown back there. And uh, then you'll see it pop up, it'll look really nice. And then the next day or two, you'll start to see the leaves kind of turn a little brown in some of these. And it just kind of disheartens you when you put your effort in trying to grow some of these. So I'm gonna try growing this one outside this spring. Or I'm gonna take this tray out and I'm gonna put it outside and let it go in the uh, outdoor, you know, the ones on our deck, the red uh, raised beds on our lower deck. I'll put this into there as well as this Russian. And those are gonna basically become kale beds. But uh, as an indoor one, I'll definitely grow this red one again because Paula likes this one because it has some nice flavor to it. And it seems to do really well inside this grow tent. I mean, you can see there's lots of growth back here. And Paula and I, we actually just came down last night and had this as our dinner salad, the red Russian kale, along with some of the Bates kale. And uh, I'm really happy with that. But uh, as far as an indoor grow, the White Russian, I'm not too pleased with it. I mean, I may try growing it again this fall in a different location in the tent instead of being in that corner. Maybe I'll move it over here where this, like, this basil one is or maybe where this Bates kale is. Or I may just switch this tent over to having, uh, instead of having six trays, because you'll notice that I've got this one at a sideways angle. I may actually start just doing them sideways. So I'm putting this one sideways, this one sideways. That way I get better light coverage. So I can have multiple lights over the tops of these trays, and I'm not trying to put just one light above one tray. And we'll try and see if that uh, you know helps the growing. But this this Russian kale it does really well with just the one light above it. So I'm pretty pleased with the amount of food we get out of these tents for the amount of electricity we pay. And then you know we've got the down here we've got the eggplants. You can see there's a number of them that have already germinated. I took the plastic off so you guys can see a little better than me trying to crawl down there. And, Get underneath the plastic. But it looks like we've got uh, the snowy. We've got three out of the five up. And then the diamond. Looks like we've got, you know, we got quite a bit of the diamond. Actually, no, we don't have that many diamond. That's right, we did more of the black beauty. So we got one of the black beauty. No, two black beauties. Because I thought I saw one back there in the back coming up. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the one right now. And we got two of the Michael FP or F1s. And the diamond looks like we got uh, two of those. So, you know, it's early. They're still coming up. It was just yesterday where there was another small one that came up. This one, this front one here, this diamond EP. So some of them may be lagging behind. I've been keeping the temperature with the plastic over the top of it and keeping it moist, you know, wicking the water up through the bottom. It's been right around 80 degrees. So that should be giving me a good germination temp. And the parsley seems to be doing okay. And uh, this, little, this little thing here, was a little piece of this uh, poinsettia plant that I broke off when I was doing my moving around in the plant tent. So I'm gonna see if I got put some rooting hormone on there. I'm gonna see if I can get that little guy to grow. But uh, you never know. I don't know if I can use rooting hormone on a poinsettia like I normally do on my cuttings. The tomato plant over here is doing really well. I put a little uh, Epsom salt down there around the base just to give it some uh, more nutrient in case it needs it. But uh, it's grown quite a bit. I mean, you can see it's it's a good two feet now. And it's going to need a tomato cage in probably, you know, a little while. I'll try and stick one in this tent here, but that takes up a lot of room. Maybe I'll squeeze it over there by the fan. But uh, large grow tent seems to be growing really well. 
All right. Well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys are going to have a great week this week and uh, you get a chance to go outside and do some gardening. All right. Talk to you guys again. Bye.